All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out the Rich Chalenza Show. So what I'm going to call this podcast is Use Your Energy Wisely. Uh, Or should I call it When Aging, Use Your Energy Wisely. I don't know. It's going to be one or the other. Uh, But I know my age demographic is younger guys, so I kind of always keep that in mind. But in this case, I think what I want to talk about is as you age, how to kind of be self-aware on where your energy levels are at a lot of times. Uh, When you're younger, you have a ton of energy. There's no question about it. You're you're usually, you actually, you can't even believe how much energy you have until you start losing some of that energy, right? And uh, also when you're younger, you're just much more indestructible. I mean, just you hear about it and until you get older, you don't realize it the way you heal can even drink, not get, you know, hangovers that bad. The way you uh, just can bounce back very quickly. You can do things with not a lot of sleep, you know, a lot of times. And you can just, you know, kick it in the ass a lot of times. And you have a lot of energy throughout the day. Sure, you may have some times where you get tired. But for the most part, you know, you just have that energy to keep going forward and for long periods of time. But as you get older, a lot of times, that changes. And that's, I, you know, that's just a reality I do, though, think I have had certain family members and other people I know that have a ton of energy throughout the day still, even when they get up into their 70s and 80s, and it's actually amazing. And what I used to kind of watch with them, I'm just saying, and that's what I'm going to talk about in here, is where they kind of use their energy, I think, a lot of times, when I spent long periods of time with them. Uh, And what I learned, you know, when you're dealing with certain people is they're very savvy, And then you have other people that are very stupid, (laughs) especially when it comes to their energy level. But what I first want to talk about, actually, is if you want to get certain things done, right, make sure, you know, and you want to get them done right, I guess you could say. And I'm not talking about work here because work is work. I don't care what age you're. You got to go through work and whatever you got to do through work, you're going to, you know, the energy that you set for work is set for work. I'm more or less talking about what type of energy do you have when you're not working, and wanting to do things you want to do. That could be before work. That could be after work. Whatever the case may be. It could be when working out. It could be when trying to write a book. It could be when trying to do whatever you want to do. I'm just using a book. But anything you want to create. If you want to be an artist. Or if you want to take on another business. Whatever the case may be. You have to really start to be self-aware. Because what happens a lot of times I think with our energy. Is we burn out. A lot of times, a lot of us too, I think, start too early in the morning, which if that's your thing, and I see this more than anything, and then I see people petering out, especially around dinner time, and then they're exhausted for the rest of the day. Now, you can do that. If you're an early bird and you like to kick it in the ass from 6 to say 6, you got that 12-hour span, that's wonderful. But I've always realized most people's schedule is like from 8 to 11 or midnight. I just... That's for me, but also when going out for dinner, meeting up with friends, uh, or going to weddings or doings or just uh, just many different things, a lot of times you're going to be doing things at night. It could be even watching TV or whatever the case may be. I just want to make sure I have enough energy throughout the entire day. I don't burn myself out. And I see this in the gym as well. And that's what actually made me think of this today because you know, I work out at all different types of of the day when it comes to the gym. I'm not a morning guy only. I'm not an afternoon guy only. I'm not a mid-afternoon or late eight, uh, late or an evening guy, I guess you could say. And I'm not a late night worker out. I go whenever I feel like going. So why I'm saying this is my energy levels, I realize a lot of times, are different depending, obviously, on what time of day I go. If I went at one time, usually at a certain time, it could be after work, let's just say, I kind of know where my energy level would be there. Right. If I wake up in the morning and I worked out before, I kind of know where my energy level is there. But with me, it's all over the place. But I realize one of the gifts I have is what I want to truly do and get accomplished. I always set aside energy for that, and I get it done. And a lot of people ask me, "How do you get done?" A lot of things that you get done, you also sleep a lot and you also take naps. But I think one of the reasons I do that is because when I am awake, I'm like an animal. And I heard some professional athletes, and I might have mentioned this before on a podcast, some of them sleep 11, 12 hours because they have to, their body has to just recover. And they're a lot younger. But by me sleeping, and I, I should say I sleep a lot, I at least get seven and a half hours usually. I just go to bed really late because I start to really start to climb and I have a lot of energy at night. I start slow. And that's what I, I should say this is, so how I learned how to 
kind of control my energy level, I guess you could say, or how I manipulate it, is I start very slow. And then I keep building up, building up, building up, and I take a nap. And then sometimes I even take two naps, but it's a short one later at like 9 o'clock at night. But my thing is, it's like going straight up. A lot of people kind of go way up high, and then they kind of go in a flat line a little bit, and then they dip down because they're exhausted. If you're a friend of mine, family member, colleague, you know I'm just kind of going more and more and more and more. If you hit me at dinner, anytime, I'm ready to rock and roll usually. If you want to stay out till 11, 12, even 1 in the morning, I'm going to rock and roll with you. Sure, I may get tired, but for the most part, I can just keep going. And I'm, I'm also in usually a pretty good damn mood. And I, you know, a lot of times I meet up with family members, I should say, and other friends. And we meet up for dinner, like I was saying earlier a little bit. And by 6, 7 o'clock, they're falling asleep at the, you know, at the table. They're yawning. Their eyes are closing. They're exhausted. And, you know, a lot of times I get, depending on what you do for a living, it could exhaust you. Or if you have children at home, especially young ones, you don't get that sleep. But please pay attention to your energy levels. And don't spend a lot of energy on shit you hate. Now, again, if you hate your job and you got to spend a lot of energy there, that's, I'm sorry, that's just, that's hard on anybody. But again, what I'm talking about is in your off time when it comes to you. If you have things that you want to get done, but you use a lot of your energy doing things that you don't want to do or being convinced that you should be doing all the time, that emotionally drains you. So not only does it drain you emotionally, it like drains the energy from you. And then when you go to maybe have a chance to go do what you want to do, you're drained. We want to kind of learn how to kind of really, how do I say this without like sounding extremely selfish? But a lot of times in life, I believe the reason you're not happy is because you're not doing the things you want to do. And also, even when you're doing them, you're tired or you're exhausted and you just don't You just can't enjoy it. It's not really enjoying the moment. And it could be like, and I see this a lot, let's just say on weekends. I have a lot of friends that fish or they like to go boating. I live in Florida. I don't care if it's surfing or whatever. They work during the week and whatever. But then when it comes to the weekends, they're just exhausted. They're like, dude, I can't even get out of the couch or get off the couch. Or I'm just going to lay by the pool all day. I can't do anything. I'm just fried. But even though I want to go do this or I want to go fish, but I'm just too tired to pull the boat out. Or I want to go work out, but I'm just like, I'm thinking if there are things you want to do and you're too tired to even do the things you want to do is what I should say. What the hell again is the sense of living? You should be actually very excited. You should have energy when going to do the things you want to do. And if you don't figure out what the hell is going on, I'm going to tell, I'm not going to tell you how to live your life as far as your career goes or any of that. But I think we all can use an excuse that our career tires us out or the business we're running, or the job we have, right? I get it. But the truth is, there's a lot more to life than just spending all your energy doing that. Usually, for the most part, a lot of people work 40 to 50 hours. There's a lot of other time to do other things you like. Now, if you're completely exhausted and fatigued, again, that's on you. Now, that could also be your nutrition. Again, you may be overweight, and I think I'm going to do a podcast on that, where a lot of people, I don't think, realize... When being overweight or out of shape, you know, how that's taking a toll on them and how that's making them exhausted because they're carrying all this weight around. Not only that, they're eating a lot of shit foods or they're just not taking care of themselves in general. So that's all I got regarding this. I just thought I would do something on this subject because how important having energy is just in life in general, including at work. If you're at work and you're constantly exhausted, Again, it may be your diet. It may be other things. Maybe the schedule isn't for you either. I've, I've seen that with a lot of people. They take on jobs that can be too early or too late or too excruciating f- physically for them. Or it could be whatever. But if you're at work and you're, it's daunting constantly and you're exhausted at work and then even on your free time you're exhausted, what's going on here? We have to come up with a plan where you have energy and you have life inside of you. And uh, anyways... That's all I got for you. Got any questions or comments, hit me up, richchalenza.com. All right, take care.